Hello, grade tens. In today's lesson, we will join Patella as he explains how to find the volume of any right prism. Let's have a look. The one edge of this structure has a length of three unit cubes. Another edge is four unit cubes long. And the third edge is five unit cubes long. If I construct the same prism like this, with these unit blocks, can you count the number of units that this right rectangular prism contains? It's easier to count each of these single blocks than to do it from a picture. I think it's got 60 unit cubes. So its volume would be 60 cubic centimeters. Why did I use cubic centimeters? Because I used little blocks that were exactly one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter to do the measuring. But now, is there a quicker way to work it out instead of trying to count all the cubes one by one? Let's start by looking at just the base of this structure. What is the area of this base? It's a rectangle, so its area is length times breadth, which is 4 cm times 3 cm, which is 12 cm squared. Now we stack identical layers of cubes on top of this base. Until we have our structure 5 layers high. Since we know that the area of the base is 12 cm squared, and we have 5 layers in total of area 12 cm squared, the quickest thing to do will be to multiply 12 cm squared by 5 cm. This gives us 60 cm cubed or 60 cubic centimeters. In other words, another way to find the volume of a right rectangular prism is to multiply the area of the base by the height. This is very useful. You could always find the volume of a right rectangular prism by multiplying the area of the base by the number of layers on top of it, which is the height. And in the area of the base, remember, you have used the length of the two edges of the right rectangular prism. So, to find the volume of a right rectangular prism, we are multiplying the length of the edges, the length, times the breadth, times the height. In this case, we actually just multiplied 3 centimeters by 4 centimeters by 5 centimeters, which gives us 60 cubic centimeters. Let's see if you can use this knowledge of volume to answer a few questions. Look at the diagram of this box. What is its volume? Did you get 12 cubic units? The base is 3 units multiplied by 2 units. And since we're calculating volume, we multiply by the height, which is 2 units. which gives us 12 cubic units. What about this one? What's its volume? Well, that's 5 units multiplied by 3 units
multiplied by two units. which is equal to 30 cubic units. So, its volume is 30 cubic units. What about this one? Of course, this is just one cubic unit. Now think about this. Do you think we could get two boxes with different shapes that have the same volume? That should be possible, don't you think? Have a look. This box of 2 centimeters multiplied by 3 centimeters multiplied by 4 centimeters has a volume of 24 cubic centimeters, right? But you could have another box which is say 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters by 6 centimeters. It would have a different shape but the same volume of 24 cubic centimeters. Try this one. Here's a box with a volume of 84 centimeters cubed. The length is 7 centimeters and the breadth is 3 centimeters. Can you work out what the height of this structure is? The formula for calculating the volume of a right rectangular prism is equal to the area of the base multiplied by the height. We know that the volume is 84 centimeters cubed, which is equal to the area of the base, which is 7 centimeters multiplied by 3 centimeters, multiplied by the height. which is 84 centimeters cubed equal to 21 centimeters squared multiplied by the height. So, to find the height, we must divide 84 centimeters cubed by 21 centimeters squared. So, 84 divided by 21 is equal to 4. This gives us 4 centimeters as the height of the prism. Patella only applied the volume formula to rectangular based prisms. The formula can be applied to any right prism. First, we need to find the area of the base and then multiply by the height. Thank you for joining us. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Introducing Measurement Tasks video. You'll also be able to learn more about measurement on our website. Goodbye.